don't know the reasons behind it, you know, but it seems like they're working on methodologies to get people to a certain place in their minds for whatever reason that is, and I don't think it's a good reason. Um, People are already watching the first one, that's not um, even part of it. Four people have already watched There were it. times when it seemed like there were disparate groups operating, hmm. that, that some groups were there trying to hurt us Two and do damage and test out all these horrible things and make us freak out, go running naked into the screen streaming, screaming, and, and every now and then there were things that happened that made it seem like there were actually people or beings that cared and were trying to help. Uh, whether this was part of the program or not, I, I can't tell you. Um, there's... <sighs> the main thing that I can tell you is this. You must learn to conquer your fears. Um, I have not fully done that. I'm still afraid of dying. I'm afraid of suffering. I'm afraid of physical pain. I'm afraid of emotional pain. Uh, but uh, I'm trying to learn to not be afraid and, and you know, being dosed with huge amounts of hallucinogenic drugs by these people on a regular basis, uh, I had to face so many fears, you know, I thought that, that vampires were going to eat me and I had to come to the place where I said, okay, if that's what's going to happen, then fine, you know, you have my permission, go ahead and eat me, uh, not that it wasn't terrifying. But, I mean, that's how out there I was with this stuff. Um, the, the, the main thing is that you conquer your fears. If you realize that, that you are more than just your physical being, that you are a spiritual being, um, and that you will continue on after death, um, that helps. I think trying to understand the purpose of why you're here in this world, I really do think that there is a purpose, there's a reason. Um, yeah, I, I'm getting out there, I'm getting into philosophy and theosophy and, and stuff. Um, I just want to say that, that my experience with this, this experience of being a targeted individual has, has done exactly what it was meant to do which was open my mind, and I was a very open-minded person, believe me, uh, was open my mind to things that, that I did not believe were, well, it wasn't that I didn't believe they were real or not, although in some cases that's what happened, but more like stuff that I wasn't paying attention to, you know, I didn't think it affected me, and here it was, you know, right in my face. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm getting off subject and off topic. The most important thing, don't panic. That's what they want to do. They want to make you afraid. They want to make you panic. They want to discredit you. They want to make you look crazy. They want to have you do something. You know, they're trying to get you to do stuff, whatever it is. It's, it's like almost as if they're practicing with this technology and they're trying to learn how to do it. Um, so don't panic. You know, think everything out as best you can and and have no fear, you know. Um, I don't know. It, it's, I know it's a lot to ask because I, I couldn't do it, but that's the most important thing. If you, if you are spiritual at all, if you have a belief in a higher power, in God, in, in anything that, that will pull you through this, I highly recommend that you become more connected with that part of yourself and the universe um, because any support that you have is very important. Um, if you can in fact reach out to others in the TI community, and I know there's a lot of paranoia and a lot of uh, fear, you know, and, and we've been programmed that way. That's exactly what they did to us, to make us afraid to talk to each other and other people about our experiences. Excuse me. Pulling a cigarette. Um, I have...
panic attacks almost every time I, I think about this stuff or talk about it, and it's almost as if, almost as if I was given like post-hypnotic suggestion to be have panic attacks to not talk about this. I've had to force myself to, to you know, go through it. Although I'm also obsessed by it, I can't seem to. You know, I, I have to figure out why. Why did they do this to us? Why are they doing this to so many people? Where is this going? And is there some way we could stop this? Um, you know, because it really leads into the whole thing about the world. Uh, you know, my, my other question is this. Okay, there, there's, let's say it's the government, okay? We have a top secret government program um, that is you know, working with all these different agencies, law enforcement, scientific, academic, medical communities, and uh, they're doing all this horrible stuff to people. Now, we know that the government has a habit of, like, killing witnesses that they don't want to talk. You know, CIA does that all the time. Why is it that I'm left alive here to tell you this story, you know? I mean, I've had them threaten me in my mind, oh, we're going to kill you, we're going to hurt you, and believe me, they're killing me. I know I'm so much sicker and weaker, and and it's only by a miracle, the grace of God, and the help of some beneficent beings that that I'm here now to tell you this. And and I'm constantly asking the universe or whatever powers there are to help me to do the thing that I'm here for. You know to help me find enlightenment so that everyone else can be enlightened and and you know one of the things that this targeted individual thing does to you it is it isolates you makes you angry hostile paranoid afraid uh you can't trust anybody you don't know what who's gonna hurt you you know what they're gonna do next and that takes away one of the most important human things that we need, which is a sense of community, people we can count on, and, and that will help us. And do you know how we get that? We get that by helping other people and fostering a sense of community. The things that we want in our lives, we usually can get them by giving them to others.